The MORE, or Mountain Off-Road Enterprise's oil pan and transmission skid plate is for those of you that have a 1997 to 2006 TJ that take your Jeep off-road and want some added protection for those soft and very important parts of the underside of your Jeep. This skid plate is going to be a two out of three wrench installation because you do have to drill a couple of holes in the cross member of your Jeep, but we'll talk more about the installation in just a second. So adding skid plates is always a good idea if you're somebody who does some serious wheeling, whether you play on the rocks, in the water where there might be an obstacle that you can't even see, or you're just running trails where they may, there might be a tree stump or roots, whatever it might be, anything that comes up into the underbelly of the Jeep can cause some damage and skid plates will help you avoid that. They'll also help you slide over obstacles if you're purposely getting yourself into those situations if you're doing some pretty serious rock crawling. So the oil pan and the transmission is one of those really important areas to protect and it doesn't have any protection from the factory. Of course you have this uh, skid plate back here on the transfer case that's also the cross member for the transfer case but this area here is largely unprotected so it is one of the more popular pieces of underbelly armor for the Jeep. This one here from MORE I think is very well built. It's a nice heavy duty 3 16 inch steel. It also has some quarter inch steel in some of the brackets. All the brackets are very strong, very beefy. Everything fits really, really well. Uh, it's also very well thought out. It has a hole right here. You can see this is a drain for the oil. So when you do an oil change, you don't have to drop the skid plate down, which is just good thinking. Um, I actually have something very similar and I use one of those valves on my oil pan so I can have a tube coming down through there. It makes it nice and clean for your oil changes. But overall, like I said, very well thought out, very well built, and it also fits very well also. Now, you do have to drill those couple of holes there, but in my opinion, that's not gonna be a, a big deal for a lot of you guys. If you're gonna be hitting the rocks, you're gonna be digging things, you're gonna be scratching things underneath your Jeep. So popping a couple of holes to add protection is probably going to be okay with the vast majority of you. And again, we're gonna show you how to get this thing installed in just a second. Now, a skid plate is really nothing more than a bent up big chunk of steel. So it can be a little bit difficult to swallow the price tag attached to some of them. But overall, when you consider the amount of damage that they protect you from, all of a sudden they become worth it. So this one's just a little bit over $300. Again, for the fit, for the quality, for the strength, the ease of installation, I do think you're gonna get a pretty good deal there, especially when you consider what it would cost you if you do punch a hole in the oil pan or damage your transmission. This thing is going to definitely be a steal. It's going to offer additional peace of mind and confidence when you're out there wheeling as well, which you really can't put a price tag on. So I've said a couple times now, I'm gonna show you how to install this thing. Let's get to it. The first step is installing these brackets. There are going to be some small brackets that go on the bottom of the motor mounts, then some extension brackets off of that, and then finally the skid plate. So we're gonna start with these. And what I'm gonna do is actually drop these bolts with a washer on it in from the inside of the motor mount so that it's sticking down. I think it's gonna make the install just a little bit easier, but you can really do this however you want, either pushing the bolt up from the inside and then getting to the nut on the backside or how I'm gonna try and do it. Either way you decide to do it, MORE does provide you with a small wrench that's designed to be bent to make it a little bit easier to get to the back of the bolt head on the inside of the motor mount. So once you get to that point, you can go ahead and make a tweak on that wrench to make sure you can reach the inside of the motor mount to hold the bolts. So let's go ahead and get this bolt dropped into place and then we'll get the bracket installed. So once we get the nut and bolt hardware started on the passenger side here, we're gonna leave everything loose until we get everything started. So we'll go ahead and move over and install the same bracket on the driver's side.
Now that we have both of the motor mount brackets loosely installed, we can install the J brackets. There's a longer bracket and a shorter bracket. The longer one goes on the driver's side here. You'll use the same nut and bolt hardware that's included in the kit to get this attached. And you'll also want to leave this loose until the end of the install. Once we finish with the driver's side here, we'll move on to the passenger side. Once both of those brackets are installed, we'll start installing the skid plate itself. Now that the brackets are installed loosely, we can go ahead and bolt our skid plate onto those brackets, and we'll use the skid plate itself as a template for where we drill the holes in the factory skid plate. So the holes in your new skid plate, they are square, so this is where we're gonna be using those carriage bolts. And it may make sense to you that you would want the carriage head on the outside and the threads on the inside, making them a little bit more protected. But what you actually wanna do is put the carriage head on the inside and the nut on the outside, because otherwise you're not going to have access to tighten down this hardware once the skid plate is in place. Go ahead and rotate the skid plate up into place up against the factory plate. Your inclination may be to leave the plate a little further forward so it's not interfering with these bolt heads for the transmission mount. But if you do that, you're not going to have a lot of flat surface to drill these holes through. So what you want to do is actually set this all the way back to where the cutout in the MORE skid plate is almost lined up with your factory skid plate. And then left to right, you can kind of eyeball it or take a measurement. But you do want to make sure that everything looks like it's going to clear as the suspension is traveling. So that looks pretty straight. We'll go ahead and mark those holes. Now we'll just have to drill that out. Of course, we're going up to a half inch hole, so we're going to step up slowly, uh, starting with a smaller pilot hole, and we are going to use a center punch just to make sure things don't walk around. Now that we have the holes open to a half inch, we can bolt the skid plate into place.
So if you are looking to add some protection to the oil pan and the transmission of your TJ, I would recommend this option from MORE, and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.